I welcome you today. We're going to talk about God. G-O-D. And I want you to just take a few seconds to process what I'm, what I'm asking you here. Who is God to you? When you think of God, when you mention his name, when somebody else mentions his name, what picture do you have in your mind? Who is God to you? Is God just this entity of creation, this creative source that we believe made everything, um, this distant force that governs the universe? When you think of God, what comes to your mind? Do you ever feel as if you know God? You ever, you, ever, you ever wondered what God is like? How God thinks? What's the mind of God? What comes to your mind when you think of God? I remember uh, many years ago I wrote a book called um, Is God a Stranger to You? Because if you do not know God as he has defined himself through the word of God, you can't know him. You can't know how he thinks. You can't know how he relates to mankind. You can't know um, what the future holds as it relates to some kind of relationship with God unless you get it from God. The only way to know God is to let God explain to us who he is and what his purpose is. Otherwise, you simply have an opinion of God or you have someone else's opinion or someone else's viewpoint. Has it ever crossed your mind that you can't know God without studying the word of God? You cannot know God without the Bible? How often do you read the Bible? How often do you read the word of God, Christian or non-Christian? You do realize you can go to church on a regular basis and know of God and know about God and not know God. Not know God through the pardoning of our sins through Jesus Christ. So, so no matter what, you can't know or understand or have some idea of a relationship with God without God explaining it to us. So then, how do you know him? How do you see him? Even if you're going to reject God, shouldn't you reject the truth? It's, it's, it's amazing to me because so many people reject God, but they reject God not knowing the facts. They literally reject, oppose, totally antithetical to God without the facts. If you're going to make a decision about God, shouldn't you at least make it on the truth? Shouldn't you let God explain to you who he is, what he's about, what his purpose is for you, and what kind of relationship you can have with him at least let him explain it, and then you reject that. But why would you reject a God as loving as the one that the Bible tells us about without at least getting the truth? 
So I want you to think for a moment. How do you feel about God? What do you know about God? What can you say about God? Do you know him? Or are you rejecting him without the truth? Would you at least think about it?